Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 4, The Thrones of Ascension, and we are in late winter in the year 5 of the Ascension Wars. We're almost to year 6. That's pretty crazy. And it is winter. So there was a battle in Chilad, and appropriately, I suppose, this battle takes place in the winter. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So... Yeah. Anyway, this is my gigantic army against Ulm's defense, basically. And I think you are not going to need a diviner to tell you how this one is going to end up. Ulm's troops are very heavily armored, but they're very slow, and they give my troops plenty of time with which... Ooh! Old Theor just cast Falling Fires. That's cool. And, oh good, after a couple episodes of lag-freeness, we apparently now are lagging on everything. It's just how I like it. Just how I like it. I recorded an episode or two at what Fraps calls half size, and it went faster, sure, but it just, I wasn't happy with the quality. So I'm not going to be doing that anymore. There's got to be another solution, and I'm thinking at this point it's... it's getting a new recording program because I know my computer is more than capable of doing what needs to be done and so it has to be fraps. Battle in Ostmark. Okay, we're attacking the province defense of this castle province with just Barbell. We'll speed this up because we've all seen what Barbell can do. Yeah, and these are just regular giants. These aren't particularly special giants in any way. Some undead. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. And another stunning success for Barbell. Great Feral. This is Mayhem. Mayhem Dread. And, yes. Oh, I was, I was like, why is he fighting my own guys? But that's just because Scalaria has the same province defense commanders as I do. Very sensible. Alright. And Sirna. Looks like Scalaria was beaten. Marignan might be on the Ascendancy, Apurnia. I guess Scal Scalaria won, but barely. Alright, Solam. Let's see what that's about. They're attacking us here. Okay. Who knows? Who knows how this will go? Frankly, when I played through it earlier, I wasn't paying attention. So we'll find out. Oh, and you're, you're witnessing flaming arrows, which I have never showed you before, but they are doing. And it's not doing much good for them, it appears. But you can see the little difference when they shoot. And our cavalry is running. Our infantry is running. Come on, horse archers. Three times now you guys have won the battle, and let's call it a fourth. Let's call it a fourth. Good work. Good work, men. All right, so our province of fence held them off in Salem. Sadika has been conquered. I don't even know where that is. Sermiok looks like Marignan beat Scalaria again. Our Yildmir has been conquered. Just don't know where that is either. Must be one of those territories that my harbingers were taking on. Forest to be done. Marignan lost 57. Looks like they beat Scalaria again. Scalaria is not having good times. Bergamum, 292 gold. Very impressive. We took out a sneaking enemy. Very good. That was Ivermark, by the way, so that is um, that is where Fort Wallace is, so I'm glad to see we're taking them out. We're starting to destroy the gate in Chilad. We're not doing anything to Osmark, but that's okay, that's just a harbinger. But here's the problem. My troops in Chilad are starting to starve. So what am I going to do about that? Well, I'm taking Enoi Aru and moving her over here for the time being. It's 100 supplies, 136. I felt that was just a little too high for my tastes. I don't want to lose 36 units to disease. If it were a couple, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but that's a lot. Hopefully when it's no longer winter, because right now we're three cold here, the, there'll be more supplies and we'll be in good shape. If not, I am forging an endless bag of wine, which Opal Warrior can carry down here, or at least give to Enoi Rao. But we're basically sieging this. Ulm and Ermor are here. We could probably take both of those armies. So I'm not too worried about it. And 
for the first time in what feels like forever, we have a bunch of money. I, 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 it's, I'm not sure how I did it, but somehow I did. Here's Julianus Apostata. He is a iconoclast, again a heretic. I want to move him out. He has two fire, so that means that with the spell Phoenix Power, he'll have three fire, and he'll be able to bring down flame... What's it called? Falling fires. Now, we'll, we'll wait and see how effective that is, because... He will only he'll be only getting up to it by the buffing spell, so he probably won't be able to cast it very many times. But still, against undead, it's quite worthy. I am moving mayhem, and finally, I've completely outfitted Midari Fubuki somewhere. So I'm moving both of them here. They're going to take it to Oceania and watch the eastern flank of Fort Wallace. Puggles is still hanging out. I've made the decision that I don't like archangels to be thugs. I'm going to have him be a general and have him be a caster. Four fire is just too good to pass up. So I'm going to give him items that don't make him effective in battle, but make him a better leader. And that's what I'm going to do with that. Eurus is patrolling while I build one more turn's worth of troops, I think, before setting off on my path of conquest. Meanwhile, Gabriel is just biding his time researching. What are we researching? We're Thaumaturgy. We're already at level 6. Heck, we're almost at level 7. Purgatory. Holy fire will strike undead enemy creatures in the god's dominion. Yes. Yes, we are definitely going to be using Purgatory. That will either be... Well, it'll probably have to be uh, Daikeasune who cast that, but I love it. I love it a lot. So we'll keep, we'll keep on going until we get that. Why not? And we also get Vortex of Returning, which can move a whole province... A whole province. It can move an entire battlefield back to the home province. Divine Name, which is basically just Gift of Reason. So uh, it makes it makes a commander, a regular troop of commander, not too useful. Dark Skies isn't useful at all. It lowers the morale of everyone under your dominion, but considering most people under my dominion are undead, not too, uh, not too useful. Gale Gate, pretty, pretty useful. It'll give me air gems each turn, but I need 60 to get it started. Definitely worth having but not as worth having as some others, such as, let's see, where are the rest of them? Alteration, perhaps? Fantan, no, no. Fog Warriors, we definitely want. This will allow any of my air mages to, with only three air gems, to turn my entire army into mist, which I think is fantastic. Iron Walls is good for forts, I guess, but what I'm looking for here, folks, is, ah, Fata Morgana. And I don't have anybody who's anywhere near able to cast this. My strongest air mage, I think, is three air. What's Gabriel? What's Gabriel? I don't know. But this is cool in two ways. First of all, it protects your provinces by giving them phantasmal warriors in addition to your province defense, but it also... It doesn't say... I think it gives you more money. Basically, it makes life easier and everyone happy. It increases your income, which is definitely, definitely very valuable for me. But that's still not what I'm looking for. Where is what I am looking for? Wrath of God. There we are. That's my boy. 70 Astral Pearls. It competes with angels, but Thunderbolts will strike the enemies of the god no matter where they are which is very good, and it's more strong in your dominion. So that's a good endgame spell. It'll piss everybody off, probably, but worth having. And I think that's good for now, since we're taking up some time looking at spells. But that's kind of where I'm where I'm going with this. But right now, let's get to the next level of Thaumaturgy, as we had planned. And uh, that was Evocation, right? It was indeed. So we're going to go Evocation. Oh, what am I doing here? No, that's fine. It doesn't have to be exact. We'll just make it happen. You can research and help out. Okay, so we're moving the angels there. Everybody here is still hanging out here, although we are building more slaves. Up here in Fort Wallace, everything's just about ready to go, although I've determined that I need another turn's worth of unit recruitment before I send everybody out. So I'm going to be doing that. We're recruiting a slave, which I desperately need, and then after that next turn, 
we're going to move everybody out. This also gives me a chance to see what this army up here is going to be doing, if they're going to come south or what. So that's worth noting. And I think I just need to, at this point, introduce you to... Where are you? I guess two episodes in a row I have done that. So sorry. Volkenstein. Volkenstein, the Varangian captains. We have two Varangian captains now. Rurik and Volkenstein. I'm going to be giving them a big group of Varangians and some items. And they're going to be my fun little human-sized thug leader guys. But we're a ways away from that. So don't expect to see anything from them in the near future. But as soon as I could arrange it. I guess my next goal at this point, I'll pre I'm pretty close to being able to afford another Harbinger, and they've served me well. It'll be years before I can afford another Archangel, although I would like to. Uh, moving gems to them is just kind of a waste of gems, especially when I have so many other unique and wonderful things to, to do with these gems. In fact, that reminds me, since King Midas keeps running off into battle like a crazy person, I'm going to have Forge Fire here forge this. That'll at least give him something to do during the battle. It won't be too effective, but at least it'll keep him from charging up to the front. It'll make him lose this, or it may not, because if they're both single-handed, we can just he can just wield them both. But this gives him air shield and luck, which is good. Definitely worth having. Fango Wolf. You know what? We need one for him too, don't we? So do we have another forge fire? We do. You were gonna forge another one of those. And it hardly took any gems at all, because these guys are good at forging. So let me just make sure that there's nobody here that needs to research. It appears... Oh, Tokshin. Tokshin, you could research. Or you could preach. Oh, and I built a temple here, in case anybody was wondering, because I got tired of this whole area being not under my dominion. Actually, Burn Saber? Why don't we all preach? Everyone who can preach, preach. Maius is going to patrol. Chitza is already preaching. Hephaestus, you can preach. And I think that's everybody who can preach. Oh, Dragon Strike, no, we're not going to preach with you. You're going to continue to defend. We need your military skills. Okay, so all of you guys, though, all of you magical users who are just sitting around doing nothing for the time being, you all can research. And I think all these other guys are already researching. Quickness is not researching. Come on, Quickness, get with the program, buddy. He has that, um, the thing that gives him an extra water gem in battle and gives his water spells a bit more range. Alright, I think we're in good shape. Um, yeah, my spies are fine where I want them to be. Everything seems settled. My research is taken care of. I definitely need to do some more site searching, as a lot of these provinces, especially up here, have not been searched to their full potential. As I joked around in the comments in my last video, I kind of like having Ashdod's Dominion in my lands because it gives 3 growth as opposed to my 1 growth and 3 order as opposed to my 2 order, though it does give 2 misfortune and 1 drain that mine don't have. Uh, it was said it by, by, I believe, Rick Kahn that my scales were, were crappy, though that wasn't the word he used, but I don't think they really are. I mean, they're, they're, they're decent enough. They're not amazing scales, sure, but two, two order, that's only one order away from as much order as you could possibly get, and one growth. I mean, I should be getting a good income from that and supplies. So, I mean, the only way to get more income would be to add more growth and add more order, and there's not so much of that that I can do. So I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm doing all right, to be honest. And here we go. As always, many battles are fought, many victories are scored and losses. For those of you keeping track of my beverage habits, I'm out of the butterscotch beer, but I'm, going, I'm back to the Bundaberg Australian ginger ale. One of these days, one of these companies is going to give me a check. I'm just, just waiting for that to happen. Ulm has a new... Ooh, Radrick the Hero. Radrick's a cool unit. We lost the Promised Land. Battle in Ostmark. Oceania's attacking us, which is kind of stupid. Barbell's not still there, is he? Oh, crap. I forgot to move him out. Well, I knew I forgot something. 
Well, if someone has to be there killing everything, it might as well be him. Yeah, it looks like they're not having too much trouble. And then it looks like Ashdod is now taking their turn. Actually, you know what? This might have turned out to be a tactical good move. Let's see how my Mollocks, or sorry, my Angels handled their Mollocks. And what are these Angels? The reason I ask, Angel of the Host, okay, because one of the Archangels, I believe Barakiel, has the ability to auto-summon Angels of the Choir. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping to get him, because I just want to have him sit in the capital and just summon angels every turn, at no cost to me. But, okay. This is a lot of fun and all, but let's get some action. And here we go. It's time. They're summoning air elementals. Or, I'm sorry, earth elementals. They have some mechanical men, it looks like. Are they mechanical men? Yeah, they are. So they're not going to be impressed by my awe, but as far as I remember, they, they're good at defense, but they pretty much suck at offense. My angels are getting a little beat up, though. And we just lost one. Still have two left, though, and of course Barbell. Just the same old, same old, I guess. They're running. Let's get their mage. And done and done. We lost an angel, but otherwise handled 21 giants. So pretty good. Sermiok. Marignan lost. Iron Range. More Ermor versus Ulm business. And it looks like Ermor was beaten. I wish it would tell you. I don't understand why I can't say... I mean, if you're watching the battle anyways, why can't you just say Ermor attacked Ulm and was victorious? Or Ermor attacked Ulm and lost? I know the devs don't watch me anymore. They might have watched a couple episodes, but certainly they don't have time to watch all of them. So they're never going to get that. But honestly, I don't see what's so hard about that. Marignan... won. Alright, fantastic. Salam. Ah, oh, they, 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 they... Something's here. They really want this. They want it bad. And I think they're going to get it this time. This province defense is very brave, and they have done many great things, but this is a lot of giants. Quite a few. And these are the good giants, aren't they? No, they're the Bashanites. So they're the they're the sword wielding giants. I think it's the Anor Anorites? They're the ones that are. Either way, I don't want to see my brave troops fall. But the enemy now controls the province. We only took out an Edomite for our trouble. Okay, Chiliad still hasn't been felled. But we have... I know, I know. Now we're only... Now we have enough... Okay, so we should be good here. Nobody got diseased. We have enough supplies now. That seems like a good plan. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to give... Oh, actually, I'll give Orantes the... There's no lab here, isn't there? Oh, for, for crying out loud. Okay. Sounds good. So the plan is... The plan is... Do we have an old Dierg with air? Yes, well, we just recruited one. He is not old, but he is a Dierg, and he will be... He will be... Hmm. Univine. Welcome to the team Univine. And what you will be doing, my friend, is you will be delivering that. And is that all? Yeah, that's all. And then you will be another powerful mage in my forces. And how I'm going to get you there is you're going to cast Cloud Trapeze. And excellent. You're going to Chiliad. Actually, though, before you go to Chiliad... Let's set you up right, Univine. Where are you, buddy? Okay, we're going to set you kind of here in the back. So you won't be in any problems. Might as well give you some battle commands, too. You are going to misform yourself. You are going to... This is all we're fighting against, right? So... Well, 
Orb Lightning's fun. Stellar Cascades, I think that causes exhaustion. That's pretty good too. Solar Rays, Undead Targets. Not for this battle, but soon, certainly, soon. Orb Lightning's better than Lightning Bolt. It'd be cool if we can get Thunderstrike, but we're, our Thurgus just aren't quite there yet. Confusion would be nice too. Hmm. Well, I don't want to tax my limited communion slaves any further than I already have, so we're just going to have you do some orb lightning business. Actually, what's the range on that? 15? Mm hmm. Why don't we start with lightning bolt? And then when our enemy gets closer, we'll segue into orb lightning. All right. So Univine, you are heading down south. And you're going to bring some delicious food with you so we can move Noerao back there. Excellent. And still no one can touch us. But however, they must have something inside that fort, maybe some guardians because they are not yielding even to this large force. Cracking castles is not an easy thing to do. All right. Mayhem and Midari. Actually, this is quite a force. If I move over here, they might be able to sneak here, and then when I try to get back, they might go to my capital. Don't want that. But if I wait here, just chill, they might come, or they might come, and I think that's probably what I'm going to be doing. So these two are just going to hang out for a second. Meanwhile, Barabel is going to make an annoyance of himself over here. Excellent. And, well, I'll do this between turns, but I'll set everybody up here in order to move them to take this castle once and for all. We'll actually probably hit Salam first to take that back for us. I, I would hope they did not go here, because then that'll just make things complicated. But again, we have our angels here, so this gives us a bit of tactical flexibility for whatever needs to be done. So there we are. Oh, Julianus Apostata. Let's move you to the front as well. I don't want to take you through the throne. Let's just go from the castle and then south from there. I think we have a new scout here. Orantes, yes we do. I think it's probably... I want to know what's going on up here. Up here and to the right. Okay, and it was asked that I show the hero board. So let's go ahead and do that. Hall of Fame. If you'll notice, they're all my people. Except for one Ermor guy. Two Ermor guys. Janud is their god, isn't it? I can't tell. But we have Barbell at the top. 120 kills, 261 experience. Mayhem Dread, 100 kills, 101 experience. Dragon Strike, 39, 135 experience. General Wallace has 4 kills and 167 experience. Fango Wolf, 5 kills, 148. Lictos the Alchemist was up there, but he is dead now. King Midas, 1 kill, 152. Burn Saber, 35 kills, 146. That's Emperor Burn Saber to you. R Reggie. Up to 3 kills and 143. Aerial support. My lizard who is supposed to just buff my buff my flyers. He is up to 137. And Nihilex, the gnome, coming in at the bottom at 124, 53 kills. So if this were based on kills instead of experience, you would have Barabel, Mayhem, Nihilex, Dragon Strike, Burn Saber, Almeric, who's not mine, Lictos. There we are. Now let's quickly look at the nation overview because we have a minute left and I want to kind of show you what's going on. There's still plenty of areas we haven't searched. For example, in Ivermark where Fort Wallace is, we haven't even searched air magic. In fact, I might want, I might have Burn Saber do that instead of preaching, actually. And Glimmering Fields, we've done nothing. Elador, nothing. Ostmark, nothing. That's where Barbell is right now. Well, that's not even our province, so that, that explains that. And these, yeah, these aren't my province. Rot Marsh is pretty good. We've done everything but blood. Most of these. Most of these close areas. Well, it looks like Astral and the Great Feral. Not even sure where that is. But level 2 Astral, that's pretty, pretty shitey. I wish we could improve that. Because there's probably Astral sites that we're missing in some of these. Not all of them, but some of them. In this site here, we can recruit Fiery Imps, but it costs a Fire Mage. Let me know in the comments if you think that's worthwhile. I don't think it is. Obolsheen. That's our capital, so we have no point searching there. We could use some... Uh, what is this? 
air magic, you know, astral magic, I'm sorry. So we're, yeah, we're way behind the eight ball in astral. And even a lot of places we have searched, we've only searched up to a level two level. So that could certainly be improved. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. With only a couple more turns, we should be able to have this castle. I don't see anybody who can do anything about that. And then in the next episode, you should see us move out from here and siege this castle. And hopefully my angels will be able to sort out this nonsense pretty soon as well. Like I said, that's a pretty strong force, but it's not strong enough force to take out an angel or two. We are keeping steady here, not even recruiting any troops, but we are recruiting slaves for the purpose of eventually moving them to our armies, although now with them here kind of threatening this area, we're just going to have them hang out. And up here, as you know, we're recruiting Vestals, now that we can, because the temple's been built, and Light Infantry, though, why all of a sudden... Oh, we know why, probably, because we lost we lost Salam. That's why we lost production. And then here in the capital, we're ready to set off in the next turn as well. We're recruiting our regular troops, and we have plenty of Vestals, and... I don't know why we have Akratories. They're pretty useless against who we're fighting, except for Oceania. Even Ulm has too much armor for them to be very effective. So, not the best campaign for them. But we're recruiting... Well, I'll figure out what we're going to recruit. But thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.